Well, Christina, thank you very much for coming and visiting Miami. You're from Germany, yes, from the I southeast am. area of Germany. And we're kind of enjoying a, some similar weather here now that you have back there in Germany today, mm -hmm. right? right? Now it's very hot. We have about 90 degrees and it's supposed to be even hotter. That's why we're called the sunny side of Germany. So we have something in common with Florida. That, that's great. So tell us about it because a lot of people here in the United States, especially when they talk about going to Europe, they don't think Germany in the first place. They think France, Italy, Spain, England. But Germany doesn't come uh, in the first top five even. So why do few people go to Germany? Well, I think uh, Germany is actually picking up right now. And um, we experienced that a lot more clients from the United States have an interest in our historical sites. A lot of tradition out of Central Europe is in Germany. And I represent the southwestern part of Germany, which is Heidelberg, the Black Forest, which has a lot of tradition. Um, U.S. customers tend to go back to their roots. They have ancestry coming yeah. from uh, Germany. And also, I think Germany offers a very high quality and the value is very high for the money that our clients get. Especially now with the dollar so the strong. The dollar is strong. The Swiss franc is strong, so um, clients don't want to be in Switzerland that <laughs> much. Sorry, yeah. Swiss <laughs> neighbors, but... So we, we in our show do most uh, about cars, and like this area of Germany is, has one of the most powerful brands in the world, exactly. right? Exactly. Well, actually not only the most powerful brands, which are Porsche and Mercedes, we also um, are the birthplace of the car. Yeah. And uh, Carl Benz, he invented the car 129 years ago. And he also has a museum now, the Mercedes-Benz Museum that we have in the capital of Stuttgart, which will, um, which will walk you through the history of the car from top to bottom. So if we were going to do a, a trip driving, how would you suggest the itinerary to be? Like, let's say we're going to fly from here to Miami. Right. Uh, you would fly into Stuttgart and then uh, you would pick up your car, maybe even from the factory, which is exciting in itself. That would be cool, yeah. The new car is coming out. And uh, then I would do a trip going into the Black Forest because the Black Forest roads are very windy. Which is south, so uh, west fun. from Stuttgart. Well, that is west, actually. Oh, west, right. okay. And then you could hop over to France, go to the wine region, don't drink the wine because you want to be driving. Yeah. So you pick it up and then um, going down to Lake Constance is also a very nice route to go on. Maybe even hop over to Austria. We're very well located near France, Switzerland and Austria. So I think that's uh, an amazing thing to do. So uh, what about the Autobahn? A lot of people think yeah. about Germany and the yeah. Autobahn. Is it this kills part of me it? to drive here in the United States because I'm going <laughs> Especially a Porsche or a Mercedes Benz, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. So, no, I mean, I went 150 last week in my wow. car and it's a lot of fun. And there is a lot of areas on the Autobahn where you can go as fast as you want. You know, there is no speed limit. Uh, but there is restrictions on some areas, of course, where there is exit. Yeah, that's something important to know because a lot of people think yeah. of the Autobahn and say, like, I'm going to go as fast no. as I go. But there are there, areas there are and the tickets are very expensive, too. Yeah, you don't want to get a ticket <laughs> in Germany. You don't want to mess with a German police officer. Exactly. So, Christine, so this is the south southwest. So Stuttgart is the main, the capital of this area, right? That's right. Stuttgart is the capital. Um, it, uh, Stuttgart has about six. 150,000 people living there and we have a lot of small towns in the state of southwest Germany of Baden-Württemberg. So great wines, great food, great hotels, great cars. Great cars, so a perfect combination. Perfect combination. So, so you asked the question before why someone would go to Germany and uh, it's true. I mean we really do have a lot of things to offer and for example also the wine is something very special for the region and uh, German wine does not have the reputation that it should have, especially the south western part in Baden-Württemberg where we only have the Rhine River dividing us from France. So, so it's the same the area. River, it's yeah. the same area, it's the same soil, the same sun. So I think there's some pretty good wine uh, going on and also the fests are very popular. We have the second largest beer fest after Munich and you're actually able to get into the tents. Yeah, and, because Munich uh, is too crowded it's now. It's very crowded and you sing outside a lot. And then the wine fest as well. Sleeping in a wine barrel, we play with the, with the themes a lot. That's great. Well, thank you very much again for coming and visit here in Miami, and we thank hope you. to go and visit you either in Germany. Well, I hope so. You're very much invited to come and see for yourself. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, Christine. You. Bye.